Starting with the rematch of 107 from last weekend's Northeast Region Final, Becca's undefeated freshman Keanu Dillard would take on Abington Heights senior and two-time state medalist Luke Sirianni. Just like last weekend, Dillard would dominate, beating Sirianni 8-0 last Saturday. Once the nerves settled down, the talented freshman built up a 7-0 lead before allowing an escape at the buzzer. Dillard ends the season at 24-0 and a PIAA AAA state champ as a freshman. Man, it's awesome. It's all since I was a little kid, you know, I've always dreamed of this. Started off a few injuries, but got it going, got it done under the big lights. At 114 for the third consecutive weekend, Becca's sophomore and returning state champ Nate Desmond took on Northampton senior Carson Wagner, who finished fourth, fifth, and sixth the last three seasons. Desmond, who owns a career record of 80 and three, set the tone early and never let up, beating Wagner for the third consecutive time with the 12-1 final and his second straight state title. I would say it's just as enjoyable, but uh, I had to do twice the work to get here. And um, I think this summer was a bit of a learning curve. Uh, I was smaller for the weight classes I was wrestling. I was trying not to cut weight so I could learn new moves and um, challenge myself. And I think that really showed you know, tonight and the rest of the season. At 139, the season that Colin Rath has had is incredible. He has double digit wins over either national prep or defending state champs. His finals opponent, Pearson Manville from State College, won a state title last year, and Rath defeated him once already this season. The state final, as expected, would be close, but Rath did indeed prevail once again, securing a 4-2 win, his 38th of the season, 62nd in his career, and first state title after finishing third last year. I mean, I've been in so many close matches now. I, I, almost every match I feel like I'm wrestling is like everyone can beat me. Like everyone's in the spot, one takedown, it's a whole different match. So like at, at the beginning it was like, I didn't really like it, like I wasn't used to it. And then after a little bit, like I just, I got used to it. Like I was just ready for it, like I got in that position. I knew I was up, there was short time left. Like I've been there hundreds of times this season, it feels like, feel like every match. And then like once I just wrestled through it, like I've been through it now. At 2.15, returning state champ Sonny Sasso of Nazareth had cruised through his previous three matches, setting up a finals bout with Dylan Bechtold of ONJ Roberts, fifth in the state last season. Sasso looked calm and collected despite giving up a late takedown to cut his advantage to one. The Blue Eagles senior would hold on for the 7-5 win, improving to 27-0 this season and a combined 73-0 the past two years. It feels amazing, you know. Um, put a lot of work into this. Didn't really, didn't really get to wrestle at all. First half of the season, missed a lot of competition. So, you know, kind of the first, first few bouts all season that were real, real tough. And um, I mean, yeah, it just, it just feels phenomenal to win another one. Yeah. At 285, it had been business as usual for Nazareth Junior Sean Kinney, as he pinned his way to the finals, two and under a minute, and 306 in the semis. His toughest opponent this season would be his last, State College junior Nick Pavlechka, who was third in the state last season. Kinney, as always, scored the bout's first takedown and from there never looked back, having to go the full six minutes for just the third time this season, winning his second straight state title with a 7-0 victory, improving to 35-0 this season and 86-4 in his career. From the Giants Center in Hershey covering the PIAA AAA state finals, Doug Heater, Service Electric Network.